The popular football tournament has grown in stature over the years. It now attracts teams from all over the country. This year, 64 senior teams from provinces as far as KwaZulu-Natal, Limpopo and the Free State will be battling it out for the first prize of 100,000 rand. Westbury based side La Masia are defending champions. We only remain humble about our chances this year, uh, but I, I do know that we will compete. We will definitely be up there. Uh, uh, and secondly, I, 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 our guys would like to expose the youngsters to this tournament uh, in order for them to maybe get contracted. One of the latest products of the tournament is Monaco-bound Orlando Pirates striker Lyle Foster. I think um, grassroots football is very important and um, there's no better platform than the Discovery World This is Sulu Challenge um, to discover new and raw talent and in Soweto there's abundance and I think um, now that it's gone um, nationwide uh, we have to find some more talent and we definitely will. Scouts and various clubs will be searching for new talent. Even coaches from some of the national teams will be in attendance to identify talent to help realize SAFA's vision 2022. Part of the vision is just to make sure that uh, the talent is activated. All our young players are active uh, during the year playing league matches and of course playing festive tournaments. Remember in around December we don't want players to focus on, 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 on social uh, factors that will take them away from the field. It's an incredible uh, initiative and I'm happy that it's consistent as well. It's been happening over the past years for women, though for men it's been in the past 16 years. It means that we have a vision, you know, and the beauty of it is that it starts from down there because it's in the heart of the township. The sponsors of the tournament have signed a new five-year deal with the Soweto Football Association. This year's tournament runs from the 1st to the 29th of December. Sfiso Ramara, SABC News, Johannesburg.